Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Today we're going to show you how to remove and replace the radiator on a Ford Escape for generation. Stay with us to see how we're going to do that. Don't forget to subscribe for one new video every day. It will be easier if you remove the bumper cover. You don't have to, but it will be way easier, guys. So we recommend to do that. Stay with us to see how we're going to do that. Okay, first thing that you need to do, you need to come on the driver's side and there is three clips that we need to pull the middle piece come out and then the whole clip comes out okay you can see just like that and you can pull them out usually those could be stuck and if they break you can find replacement ones on ebay pretty inexpensive now on the bottom right there there is two bolts with ten socket that you need to remove that hold the bumper cover to the fender liner and after that you can pull the fender liner like that and there is one more clip right there that we already loosened so we can show you guys okay this is the one right here that's that's where it goes and you can reach it from the bottom and as you can see the bumper cover is loose on this side now now underneath the bumper cover right there there should be four four bolts that should be there and clips like oh clips like that as you can see one is here but the cover is still broken so those four clips are the same way you pull the middle part out and the rest of it and as you can see one there two three and four and those clips are missing on this one because it's missing the uh, under engine cover as you can see if you have it it's a good thing okay now it's uh, the same procedure on this side you have the three clips we already removed the one right here and the two bolts on the bottom that we already removed and now on top there is two more okay one right there with 10 millimeter socket and one in that corner over there and now if you grab it you should be able to pull it out just make sure that you grab on each side careful not to drop it okay and the bumper cover guys comes right out of there Alright okay, guys, next thing that we need to do, we need a 13 mm socket and we need to remove, okay, two nuts right there that hold the AC lines and you make sure that you don't have any pressure in the system. Relieve the pressure before you do that because it's going to blow in your eyes and that's, that's not good stuff. Okay, one right there and as you can see the bottom one had a leak. The, the rubber seal, the o-ring was leaking as you can see so we'll need to be replacing that one, always inspect those for cracks and if they're wore out and after you do that you can go ahead and now we need to remove that clip right here okay for the for the cover and one right here so you just pull those up it depends there is two different kinds one you have to pull the middle part out one you just pull the whole thing out this one you just need to pull the whole clip out okay just like that now there is two boxes that we need to remove with a 10 mm socket, one here and one right there for the bracket as you can see now you can just pull it out just like that and we have the same procedure on this side as well two more on this side they have replaced them in the past so those are 8 mm for some reason okay and you just pull it out the same way like that now you can go ahead and pull it out, you just pull up like that, it's pretty simple, just make sure that you don't hit anything, and that's the condenser guys right there. Okay right, guys, now let me show you why it's easier to remove the condenser and the front bumper cover in order to do the repairs. If you do not remove the bumper cover and the condenser, you have to pull up, and if you pull up you're going to hit the fans in the as you can see in the radiator support and here in the uh, hood latch so now we're going to remove that that bolt right there with a 10 millimeter socket okay and now we can proceed to working on it but by removing the condenser and the bumper you can pull it forward and you don't have to do any more disassembly than you have to it's up to you how you do it guys, but that's how we prefer it, it's easier. And now you need to remove the hoses right there, that hose. You need to get the clamp and just push it out. Usually they get stuck like that, you can see. 
so they don't come loose and now you can push it with a screwdriver but never put your finger there because if it snaps it are pretty powerful and now just push the holes a little bit from distance okay you can see like that and after that we have one more on the bottom and this one you can actually do it even by hand if you have to but if not you can use the screwdriver the, the pliers right there okay you can see and just pull that hose out as well this one is the one for the it should be the one for the transmission okay and you need to pull it out as well you might you might leak some so you have to put something underneath to collect the fluid if you don't want to make a mess okay right there and we just pull it out like that okay now we have one more hose on this side the same clamp you just push them together okay towards each other and some of those will be really tight okay just like that and you can see how much it already moved okay guys now on the bottom driver's side there is one hose that comes from the transmission and a clamp there and this is really hard to get to but you have to get it from the bottom from underneath and you need to remove that line as well okay you can see the clamp is moving now just a little bit more to jump the lip on the radiator feeding right there okay almost alright okay, guys and now we can just go ahead and pull it out okay we got it loose and it's going to leak transmission fluid out of there as you can see that's the one that's stored in the radiator alright here you need to uh, remove the wires for the fan so what you need to do is just push down and pull and those usually are stuck pretty good because they have good seal on them that prevents water from going in and there is one more right here okay now you can pull on the driver's side all the way up and if you move them a little bit you can twist them around okay just like that so now you can reach the bottom holes pretty easy guys that way you won't have to break your fingers trying to get it all the way down there okay that clamp is the one holding right now and those are really really powerful okay we have some coolant right here as you can see and now we have one more little hose that we will need to remove and this is a radiator hose uh, as well it's coming from the from the fuel bottle right there so what we need to do is just with a flathead screwdriver you need to remove the clamp on this one loosen it all the way and you need to pull it out just like that and now we have the radiator assembly with the fans out of there as you can see okay right there and if you need to remove the fans now all you have to do is just I think there is three uh, four five bolts all together one here one there one in the, in the corner there and two on the bottom and the fans will come out of there so you put it back together the same way we took it apart guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for one new video every day